Hi, and thank you for joining me here on Red Dead Online. Today we're going to take a look at the five different body shapes that are available for females and compare them all. Those five different body shapes are skinny, athletic, average, heavy, and brawny. First up, Let's take a look at the differences between each body shape from all angles before delving a little more deeper. From behind, we can see that there are subtle differences going from one shape to the next. Going from left to right, the skinny shape is obviously the most lean. Comparing the lower half of the skinny and athletic shape, there are almost no differences at all. The main differences between those two shapes are from the shoulders and up as the athletic shape has broader shoulders, which gives a more hourglass shape, whilst still remaining very slender. The average body shape shares many of the same attributes as the athletic, though with the lower half, you'll see that her waist and lower back broadens and becomes thicker, though the thickening of the lower back seems to make her bottom less shapely. The heavy shape shows the overall thickening of the character. The shoulders are broader, the arms are thicker, as is the waist. The thickening of the character shape only seems to make her bottom seem flatter, and not at all more shapely as you'd expect. The final shape, brawny, is almost identical to heavy when looking from behind, apart from the wider shoulders. From the side, once again you can see almost no differences between skinny and athletic. The chest of athletic seems the same size, though positioned slightly higher than skinny. The waist and lower body are almost identical. The average body shape has a very slightly increased chest and a thicker waist. The bottom seems slightly more rounded at the bottom, however the thicker waist definitely takes away a lot of that curve at the top that the skinny and athletic shapes share. There is a big leap between average and heavy, with the chest being larger but also in a lower position than the previous sizes. The waist is very thick and the bottom almost seems a lot flatter due to the thickening of the waist and lower back. The brawny shape seems to have the same size chest, though it has been raised higher than in the heavy shape position. The waist, bottom and lower back seems to be the same. And lastly, when we view the figures from the front, we can see the general thickening and widening of the character from another angle. The character's arms are held out at a wider distance with each subsequent body shape. Now let's have a go at morphing the body shapes together. When we switch back and forth between skinny and athletic, it makes it very easy to see the differences. Otherwise, those body shapes are almost identical when it comes to the torso and bottom half of the body. Switching between athletic and average, you can notice the lowering and increase of the chest, the lowering of the shoulders and the thickening of the waist. Going between average and heavy seems to be the biggest jump between shapes. Her shoulders appear to stay the same width, but her arms, chest, waist and jawline become larger. Lastly, going from heavy to brawny widens and raises the shoulders. The chest remains the same size, though it is lifted higher. The face remains the same. The collarbones become more prominent as brawny, and the texture of the arms seems to smooth out. Up next are all of the body shapes from all angles. Picking a body shape for your character can affect the fit of the clothes that you wear, making your choice of attire look completely different from one body shape to the next. Of course, finding the right body shape for your character is entirely personal and up to the individual to decide what looks best. Hopefully, seeing the differences between the shapes helps you to make your choice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.